M0FXB learning about the satellite screen when you're using the Open GD77. Now these instructions are for the GD77. The radio that I'm going to upgrade is the Retivis RT3S, which I'm waiting to come through, so I'm just learning. So you can use this for satellite operation. I'm just going to read down through what it says. This screen predicts when amateur radio satellites will pass overhead the current location for the next 24 hours using the location, date and time entered by the operator. It also automatically corrects the Doppler shift on both the TX and RX frequencies as well as displaying the azimuth and elevation of the satellite in a variety of ways including numerical and polar plot. Before this screen can be used, the operator must enter their location as well as current time date into the radio info screen. Also, the satellite orbital data kept must be uploaded using the CPS. So what's kept? So I've had a look here. Here's the CPS. And after you've um, upgraded to this Open GD70 firmware, you can go extras and go to open gd77 support now there's other things you can upload as well but we're just looking at the cap so it says it it says it here install satellite cap so we just click that for now just to show you what that would look like now remember i haven't got the uh, the radio so when i've got it i'll show you exactly how to do it but this is where like I said, the radio is not connected. So this is where you would do, you would do that, along with looking at this, the the, the voice prompts as well. Now remember, I'm learning M0FXB diary, learning in front of you. So don't tell me off for not exactly knowing what to do. So if the operator has not entered the date, time, or location, they will be prompted to do this. For example, after power cycling the radio, the date and time will be cleared and need to be re-entered. Uploading the latest kept from the CPS also sets the time, so in practice, it's easier to set the kept kept than it is to actually enter the time manually. That's worth knowing, so we can set our time using that same software. When using the satellite functionality, the operator does not need to set the satellite frequency or CTCSS, as these values are uploaded from the CPS as part of the kept data, date, and time. Upload to change the satellite frequencies or upload different satellites. The satellite's TXT installed as part of the CPS can be modified. For satellites like SO-50, which have an arming CTSS tone, press the SK during the transmission to transmit the ARM CTCSS tone. Now, I'm not sure which button to push with the RT3S, but we'll work it out when we get it. The first screen spread displayed is the master prediction list. The list the prediction of all passes for all satellites in the next 24 hours displayed chronologically. So there you go, there's the window. Because of the number of calculations that need to be performed, the predictions take a few seconds to be calculated. While this is happening, a progress bar is shown. Once the list appears, it shows the satellite name as well as the time that the satellite will appear above the horizon, known as acquisition of satellite, AOS and the maximum elevation in degrees is a satellite is currently above the horizon. This is shown by a black bar on the right hand side of the screen next to the satellite path. Use the up down scar um, arrows to scroll down up through the list. Note, some satellites e.g. SO86 are on equilor equatorial orbit and only pass over equatorial locations, hence passes for the satellite will not appear in the prediction in the predictions list for locations outside the geographical area pressing green to select a specific satellite pass displays the predicted polar view for the satellite so i'm not going to read all of it but i'll put the link in the description thanks very much to the team uh, who have created this firmware there's your polar views as you can see read it all learn this is what i'm going to do and uh, let's get using our budget radios for satellite. How cool is that? And there's a lot of information here. Keep going down. And then it goes on to other information. But this, this video is about learning the satellite system within the, hopefully, RT3S or GD77, MD9600. And I think it's the um, RT5DR, is it, for the Bofang? Bye for now. 7-3, all the best.